Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile before you buy video. It is time for the standalone complex 2045 Mythic Drop with the 11th Mythic inside of Call of Duty Mobile and the second Motoko skin. I'm going to tell you everything that you should know before you buy the Mythic Drop. So if you are new to this channel and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and most importantly, click on the bell icon. Also please go and subscribe the data miners Alien Gamer and Forestero who did most of the data mining for this video. Links in the description and in the comment section. We are going to start the video with the Mythic Switchblade X9 Neon Spirit. If you take a look at the theme of this blueprint, you already know there is a collaboration between Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex 2045 and Call of Duty Mobile. Since the events happen in 2045, things should be futuristic as possible. Remember back in 80s we thought 2020 we will have flying cars? Same story happens here. The blueprint has Japanese characters, letters and symbols in multiple places. Just like most Mythics, the blueprint is so alive as we can see several gauges as well as multiple effects. This should be probably the most detailed mythic blueprint they have ever released so far. The brand new mythic feature we get for the first time with this mythic is the trace ammunition. This is the feature that none of the legendary or mythic blueprints do not have yet. So what does it do? Remember it is 100% aesthetic but it can be pay to win sometimes and I will explain how. Tracer bullets are built with small pyrotechnic charge in their base. So when fired, this pyrotechnic composition is ignited by the burning powder and it burns very brightly so the projectile is visible to the naked eye. What simply it means is that you can see the bullet trails. As you can see in this footage, you can see where the bullets hit. This can be useful if you are in a 2v5 situation. When you see and shoot an enemy, your teammate can easily see where the enemy is because you can see where you should. Take a look at the blueprint in the night mode as well. Just like the AK-47 Radiance, this looks absolutely amazing in night. Since its color changes based on each reactive stage, it even looks better. The weapon inspection is the highlight of this mythic blueprint. Remember I told you in one of my previous videos, the Switchblade X9 is described as a suitcase weapon used for heist due to its folding and compact design. You can see exactly this in the weapon inspection where the switch plate can be converted into a suitcase but here not only it can be converted into a suitcase it can also be invisible it is not a very long mythic inspection as some of we have but it is clearly one of the best it also comes with its own firing sound the mythic firing sound makes it feel deadly because the switch plate x9's default firing sound is so lame compared to how powerful it is in close ranges reload animation is also very unique. Unlike all the other mythic propanes, this time reload happens over the top. You just throw the mag on top of the gun and like a magnet it pulls the magazine in and it is super fast as well. What are your thoughts about the iron sight of this mythic propane? It comes with the inbuilt red dot. But is it necessary because the default switchblade X9 also comes with the iron sight that is pretty easy to use. There is truly no need to have any optic attachments with this switchblade. Even if you need one, it is mostly effective in close ranges so the damage drops unless you have a gunsmith that is made to be used in long ranges but surely having an inbuilt red dot is a benefit because you can shoot to hit glitches easier to kill enemies quickly mythic switchblade also comes with a very straightforward ammo counter that will show the remaining amount of ammo in your magazine when you fully ads you can even see it better it is right below the iron sight the kill effect upgrade is different this time when you just unlock the gun you will have the base kill effect but how can you unlock the other kill effects previously for mythics we have to reach mythic level 3 and 7 to get the first and the second upgraded kill effects but for the first time for this mythic you only have to reach level 2 to get the other kill effects but remember you cannot choose which kill effect to use because the mechanism is different this time if you score two kills without dying your third kill is going to look like this and if you score four kills without dying your fifth kill will look like this. So what happens is that kill effect changes based on your kill streak. Honestly I think this is a better idea than the previous one because you can see all three kill effects in just one match and in just one loadout. Is this mythic upgrade a bit confusing than what it was before? If so, let's take a look at the upgrades as well. This time instead of 7 upgrades we have just 5 but, but the mythic cards needed for each upgrade will be adjusted so don't think it is cheap. When you just unlock the gun you are at 
level 0 and when you upgrade it to level 1 you get several attachment skins. Good thing is the most common attachments that we all use the monolithic suppressor and the OWC laser tactical is in this upgrade. As a bonus reward it gives us a sticker. The kill effect upgrade I explained to you before comes with the level 2 upgrade. This upgrade is not just about the kill effect. You will also get an exclusive charm as the bonus reward. The appearance of the blueprint changes with the level 3 upgrade. You will see some additional parts so the blueprint will look a little bit bigger than what it was before. This is like the first upgraded form of mythic switchblade. It is something like waking up a beast. As the bonus rewards we get the first blood batch in multiplayer as well as the first blood calling card frame in battle royale. Level 4 is where you get the tracer ammo. So you have to remember tracer ammo does not come with other mythics. Tracer ammo is what makes this blueprint different from all the other mythics. So I think it is a much needed upgrade. Not just the tracer ammo, it also comes with the bonus where you get an upgraded kill message. And now with that we reach the final level when it comes to mythic upgrades and we get the final form of mythic switchblade x9. So the beast is totally awake now. The effects look much crazier and the blueprint looks a lot bigger than the base one because of these additional parts. As the bonus reward you get the mythic share feature, a new icon background and finally a new MVP moment. And now it is time to take a look at the completionist camos with this mythic switchblade x9. I'm going to show you the completionist camos as well as the mythic weapon inspection. Here is how the gold camo looks and when you have a lot of new parallax completion camos to be used, why would someone even use this gold camo anyways? The blueprint looks a lot older when you use a gold camo for some reason. So definitely not the one to go with. The platinum camo looks good with it. If you want to make it old school, you can use the platinum camo. If you think mythic switchblade looks great and you want to make it ugly, you can use the damascus camo. I'm just kidding, I respect you camo grinders. As usual, the diamond camo replaces all the details of the blueprint. So now it is all diamond. Although I show you the ether crystal camo, there is no way of getting the ether crystal right now. So even if you like it, you'll have to wait a lot of time to get it back. Red Sprite is definitely a camo that looks great with this mythic but now since it is gone how can we get it don't worry they have promised that the red sprite will be back soon because some of the players did not even get the first ever tournament so why not hands down it is the best grindable camo they have ever released glacier ripple also looks good with this because of the parallax effect and if you like blue you can use this one the brand new camo polychromatic colors matches very well with this mythic but then again it is so lame to be released in the third tournament i mean come on and that is all about the mythic switchblade x9 neon spirit to pull this mythic in your first spin you have 0.08 percent chance so i wish you good luck before we get into the character skin if you enjoyed this video so far don't forget to leave a like and tell me what you think in the comment section also please go and subscribe the data miners for Restero and alian gamer who data mined for this video links are in the description and in the comment section with this draw we get the second motoko skin inside of call of duty mobile the first one was in the battle pass and most of you guys already have it by now so what is the difference between this one and the battle pass one unfortunately when they first teased about the mythic you can see the skin here and there you can see she's wearing some futuristic glasses which is a drastic different to the battle pass skin but when it comes to the actual release we don't see the same i wonder why maybe it was planned earlier and they have changed it because of licensing issues we never know compared to the battle pass of Friday skin the only difference i notice is the outfit the battle pass outfit is more bluish in color but this one has some goldish brown wipe let me show you a funny thing the character description of this lucky draw skin says a special pair of glasses come with this suit which is outrageous because we don't see a pair of glasses i mean i don't do you i believe they should add these glasses back because why would someone want to spend hundred dollars more to get the same skin with a different outfit hey don't get me wrong i'm not saying it is a bad skin it's a really good skin indeed now let's take a look at the other items in this draw and odds of getting them the next item with the lowest odds is for the epic drh skin which comes with an odd of four percent i initially thought it will come with the digital iron sight but instead we get this one this is also a good iron sight but not that great what is wrong with this iron sight is that those two hinges we have closer to us when we shoot they move here and there super fast so it is so distracting but the iron sight overall is better than the default one because imagine a situation where the enemy is drop shot you can quickly see 
where the enemy is at with this type of an iron sight. Also adding a DRH in this draw, especially in a time that the DRH is really good in ranked, is a bright idea. Although it is not an animated skin, it comes with a different design and geometry. Look how the stock area is designed like an axe and the frontier area like a sickle. I love it. The next item with the lowest odds is the emote. This is a good emote as well as not so good when it comes to mythic drops. We are supposed to get something so different in mythic drops but when it comes to guitar I think we have few of emotes but it is good to see a guitar used as a weapon though. Shows how good of a martial artist is Motoko. This emote comes with an odd of 4.67%. We have the first ever and probably the only legendary eco grenade in this mythic drop. It is a very beautiful skin I'm not going to lie. The explosion effect is somewhat similar to the trap master in battle royale. Out of getting this skin is 5.5%. They have also added a new MW11 skin in this mythic drop. It is just a basic MW11 with a skin, there's nothing crazy about it. It is weird how it comes with a lower odd of 6.5%, which is pretty low compared to most of the items. Then we have this calling card with a 10% odd, so 1 out of 10 people will get this in their first spin. Probably the most polished calling card we have in the game right now, and the calling card shows a crime scene. They have also did not forget to add the rally guy skin with this mythic drop, but compared to the rally guy skins we recently got in previous drops, this one honestly doesn't look that great. Maybe they had to stick with the collaboration and there are maybe some limitations that you can do to skins associated with it. Because we can see the logo of the ghost in the shell, standalone complex and so on. You have 11% chance of pulling this out in your first spin. The final two items in this draw are the legendary charm and the parachute. As usual they come with odds of 28% and 29% respectively. The charm honestly looks like a part of the mythic blueprint so I really like it. Parachute is decent but it is so basic in my opinion. So is this mythic drop worth buying? Mythic Switchblade is the first in the newest generation of mythics and guess what I don't see it coming back in the future too because this is a part of a collaboration. We never got any of the collaboration skins back so this one is going to be very rare. This is the only blueprint with the tracer ammo as of now that is also one thing you should remember. However the Motoko skin is so identical to the battle pass skin I don't see any good reason to spend more and get this one. I wish they add the glasses back that way it looks different and really good looking. I'm not convinced enough as of now for the motorcoy skin. It is also really good to see a DRH skin with a different iron sight when DRH is really good in ranked. I respect that decision. Legendary eco grenade is also pretty good. It is a very beautiful skin. The emote MW11, the relica skin and the parachute are pretty lame to be in the drop just as fill items but that is just my opinion. What do you guys think about this mythic Switchblade X9 standalone complex 2045 draw. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon. Watch my other videos, and I will see you guys.